Hello, hello, hello to the room. This is actually my worst nightmare. There's people here in masks, they're sitting far apart, they're being forced to laugh at me. <laughs> it's fine, they're all being paid to laugh, which is good. Oh, should I bring my dad out? Let's bring my dad out. Please welcome to the stage, Vincey. It's my dad. There he is. Thoughts and prayers to anyone trying to keep uh, elderly ethnic people at home. They, um, <laughs> this guy doesn't believe the rules apply to him most times. So I have to do like spot phone calls on you and I'll ring him and he's clearly outside, he's clearly on the hands free. Like, Dad, what? Where are you? At home. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm just popping to Bunnings. It's like, he's like, I don't look at anyone, I don't touch anything, I'm in and out. And I go, that's not, I don't think coronavirus is sitting back going, now we'll let him go. <laughs> Popped in. I don't know why coronavirus smokes, but <laughs> it does. Um, so here he is, though, with me now, forced out of the house to work. Thanks, Dad. It's my last gig for who knows how long, so let's fucking make it work. Um, so I've taken to shopping my feelings away, and it didn't work the first five times, so I've done it 27 more just to make sure. And the first thing I bought was a weighted blanket, a calming blanket. And the idea behind the anxiety blanket is that once you pop it on, all your worries melt away. So I bought like a 35 kilo one because I thought that's how heavy it's going to need to be just to wipe away everything that I'm dealing with. And um, so at night, I, I, I just think it's probably important that I say first off the bat, if you're online buying an anxiety blanket, you're not having a lot of sex. I think that's an important distinction to make. It's something you need to accept is going to happen. So I get into bed at night and I look at my husband and I just like lower the blanket down over me. Kind of like, you know, how a castle will raise its drawbridge off a moat. And I just look at him and go, sorry, babe, none shall pass. It's just, I think my vagina's the castle in that analogy. I don't remember. Um, so also, the one good thing to come out of this whole situation is I'm starting to crack into the hand creams I've been given because of all the hand sanitizer. They're so fucking dry. And... Um, for some reason, you know, when you get to a certain age as a woman, you get given gifts and it's really a certain type of gift, a theme. And it's easy to tell how old you are by the theme. So in your 20s, you get alcohol. In your 30s, you get scented candles, $60 <laughs> glass jars full of hot wax that smell like fig and cigar. That's what you get. And then in your 40s, you get hand creams. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, people are very concerned about the state of your hands. <laughs> then in your 50s, you get, like, scarves and those little satchels filled with pot puree to pop in your underwear drawer just to kind of mask the impending smell of female decay. And then, like, in your 60s, you bitches know what you get. You get talc. You get cashmere bouquet to pop on your sweaty underarm, undercarriage and under tit area. That's what you've got to look forward to. Powdery genitals is what the 60s is about. Speaking of powdery genitals, if you could start playing. Um, so, you know, I'm a, I'm a singing comedian and I thought tonight instead of dancing on stage with 12 vaginas, I'm not going to put that in context. If you don't know who I am, go Google it. Uh, I thought I'd do something that just to, to bring us all together, to rouse our spirits, to galvanise Victorians at the moment because it, it is a bit tough. I come from the bedroom, no pants, my bra are undone. I gave up on personal hygiene halfway through lockdown one. I stumble to the lounge room and stare at my three kids. Their screen time has quadrupled, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> I've watched all of Netflix, given the house a deep cleanse, run out of stuff to say to my husband. God, I miss my friends. I holiday in the driveway, hide in my car from everyone. I am in isolation. I am Victorian. We are one, but we are many. And from all the other states we're shunned, we'll wear our masks and social distance. I am, you are, we are Victorian. A morning glass of rosé 
gets me through my first three zooms And I've made a sourdough starter from the mould in my bathroom I miss the movies, I miss the gym But at least we've got Brad Sutton I am a friggin' hero I am Victorian We are one But we are many And from all the other states we're shunned But we'll wear our masks And social distance I am, you are, we are Victorian Come on, clap! We are bored Yeah! But we are ready To avoid all and everyone We'll flatten curves In isolation Sing it everyone I am You are We are Victorian Stay strong guys, thank you so much